hey what's up welcome back to the channel hope everyone is doing well so today i want to talk about one of the most important things that i feel that i wish i would have learned very early on obviously you can't live in any regret at least we have the information now and we're able to press forward with it what i'm talking about today is inner talking and neville goddard obviously speaks about this as well and so I just want to give my own interpretation of it, what I understand of it. And I will go over some of the stuff that he says. Talking to ourselves is what every person does. Whether you talk out loud, obviously we've seen people do that sometimes. I've done it myself where you just find yourself talking to yourself out loud even. Obviously we always doing it with inside our heads it's one of the things that is just a part of us the thing about talking to yourself is you couldn't stop talking to yourself just the same as you couldn't stop eating or drinking it's just really a part of us and all you can really do as neville says is you can control the nature of your thoughts because i feel a lot of people are constantly just automated by their thoughts they don't even know what they're thinking it's a no wonder they have some of the situations and circumstances in your life because what Neville says is your inner conversation are the causes of the circumstances of your life. And if you look at Proverbs 23 verse 7, it says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, I mean, even ancient books like the Bible have spoke about this for a long time. And one of the places where I saw that it kind of messed with my manifestations is that there was someone that I really liked and I did everything that I did in the past to get one of my exes that I made a video on that, but I did everything right. But the one thing that I was doing wrong was I would always have this inner conversation of doubt and all the reasons why I couldn't be with her and making up all different types of things living in the assumption already that I wasn't going to be with her. And this is what I feel most people do. They will honestly, they do their affirmations and things and they say, hey, I've done this now. I do it three times a day. I do my affirmations. But then as Louise Hay will say, but then for 300 times a day, you're talking and thinking about things that you don't want. So obviously all of these things are going to work against each other. And again, as they say, you can't serve two masters. This is why it is so powerful to actually curate, if you will, your inner conversation. Let's just really think about things like this. If I have the full choice of what I want to think about, why then Am I thinking about something that I don't want? We already have the 3D world in front of us that is going to give us some sort of feedback of our previous thoughts. So in your imagination, which is the 4D reality, you have an unlimited amount of things that you can think about. You could replace any type of thought that you were thinking and replace it with anything, no matter how bizarre it is. This all happens in your head. This is the unseen, only you can see it. So if you have at least that power, it's your duty to then think anything that you want that you would believe your life could possibly be and not look at the feedback of the past you and then constantly have this replaying in your head. Oh, I can't afford this. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do this. So this is something that I've also learned. So. In the, the last gospel of Thomas, I read something very important. I touched on this in a couple of videos ago where I said that Jesus says, when the two become one, they shall tell a mountain to move and it shall move. My understanding of this is that this is the conscious mind. When the two become one, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind, when they come, become one and they work together, you can do anything. You can literally do anything. But what people are doing is they bringing the two together out of fear and lack. So you're thinking, oh, I can't afford that. And then you're feeling it within your heart because they say that is where the subconscious mind actually gets impressed. 
with the feeling and the conscious thought. The fear with the thought of you can't afford it then impresses onto your subconscious and then that's what you create and manifest into your reality. So this is what's important. This is almost the perfect marriage between the two of them. The perfect matrimony. The masculine, which is the conscious. The feminine, which is the subconscious. When the conscious impregnates the subconscious, they give birth to a manifestation. This is what you're able to do when you do it right. This is what I look at as the perfect matrimony. And this is how you can have whatever you want. So I'll just go over that again. When the conscious mind and the subconscious mind become one, when the masculine impregnates the feminine, they give birth to whatever you truly desire. Consciously thought of. So you have the opportunity right now to have a better inner conversation and ask yourself, what am I constantly talking about every single day in my head? What am I automated to do? Because a lot of our thoughts are automated. A lot of it is you don't even know what you're thinking. You just get caught on this frequency, this buzz. And then you kind of catch yourself like, well, wait, let me stop talking about thinking about that. So now it's time to curate and actually that's the real type of work you're going to want to be doing. Because I've done it for many years when I was younger. I used to just have these conversations in my head of nonsense and these things that I didn't want. And then ended up getting and then questioning, oh, why is my life like this and turning out this way? When it was starting with me. And that's why you have to be so grateful to the actual subconscious mind. because. It gives you whatever you want. Whatever you plant is going to grow. Whatever seed you plant will grow. Whether you've given yourself good things or bad things, be grateful that you actually have this genie inside of you that you can ask for whatever and it will just give it to you. Like know that, wow, I am the operant power of my life, of my reality. I've been misusing this power. Yes, maybe I didn't know, but now I do. So what do I want? Let me just saturate my mind with that. And that's it. Whenever a bad thought comes up, turn it, revise it, look at it. No, this isn't what I'm thinking. And immediately replace it with anything you want because that's what you can actually do. You can literally just think of something different and imagine this reality where, wow, this is what's happening with me right now. And just live in that moment. Feel how good it feels. So that's just going to be my conversation now on inner talk. One of the most important things. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Share this with someone who maybe overthinks everything. Let them see this and be like, wow, it's cool if you overthink things. Just be thinking about exactly what you want to be thinking. Exactly the reality you see for yourself. And subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. I'm releasing this content. This is what I feel passionate about talking about. Because this is real. There's many people. I have other videos that I'll put up here. Where you see famous people, celebrities talking about these exact things that I'm talking about. So that's going to be it for me. Here's some of my old videos over there. There. Subscribe right over here. And thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.